What's up guys and welcome to the tarot. I am the energy and intuitive Rita and I'm here to do the love reading for somebody. So I have a massage. I have a massage. Somebody feels like you guys are moving too quickly here um, but it's contradicting because it's contradicting because they they want to move fast but then when you guys move fast then they feel like it's moving too slow. Like this person it's I don't know. This person could be confused. This person might not know what they want because the energy is like, huh? So, yeah, that's that's what I'm getting. Sagittarius. Hope you guys are doing so well today. All right, so I got two new decks. And I am um, very excited. I love when I get new decks. It's my fave. Anyway, we're going to see what's going on, love. Kind of from your person's per perspective. Okay, somebody could be in pain or disappointed here for a missed opportunity. Could be an Aquarius. There could be somebody that's watching who you're talking to. There could be somebody who that's watching what you're doing. Okay, all right, Sagittarius. Somebody could wear their pain or their hurt on their sleeve. Bottom of the deck is intimacy in reverse. What is good? You and Aquarius. You could have Aquarius in your chart or be dealing with, with one. But Mars is in your sign right now, Sag. So um, it's either <laughs> it's either going amazingly great or amazingly bad. Okay. All right, so this person has the garden, abundance, and forgiveness here, okay? Um, now, I feel like this person feels like there's something that could be grown here between you and them here. Um, they feel like they don't have anything to worry about when it comes to you. Like, I feel like this person... Um, like wants to let you into their garden is what it's giving with this garden card like i'm seeing this gate here open all right i feel this person feels like the relationship between you and them could grow into something very abundant they feel like this is something very abundant like i feel this person feels like they walked into a cave and just found all the treasure like that's kind of how they see you the forgiveness is here i feel like this person forgave there's something i don't think it's forgiving you that's not what i'm getting it could be though but I feel this person forgave themselves. This is what it's giving for something. I don't know how that has what that has to do with you, but yeah. And then into, in, intimacy at the bottom of the deck is in reverse. So they feel like you guys aren't connected. Um, like they want some more intimacy from you. Like they feel like you're not really opening yourself up as much as you could. Okay. They feel like there's a disconnect there. Something about water could be significant. This could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, what is the garden here? The devil. Could be a Capricorn. The Ace of Swords in reverse. Jeez Louise. And the moon. Could be a Cancer. Bottom of the deck is a death card. Could be a Scorpio. Um, I feel like there's somebody who you experienced an ending with because the death card showed up. Okay. I feel like this person wants to grow something with you here, but they have destructive tendencies. Like this person does a lot of things that like, it's not good. I mean, just look at her. She's partying all night, looking crazy, you know, doing it to herself. I feel like this person does not have any focus. They can't find focus here. And I feel like there's a lot of things that they're hiding from you with the moon. They feel like you have everything. But the, but that's the it's like it's like this person just wants to come into your garden and just sit and chill. You know, like like after them creating this negative environment for themselves, they just want to come into your garden and just chill. But it's like but like like it's giving like they want you to fix them up here. It, it's giving that. But you have the death card here. I feel like this is something that needed to end. Or you ended this because of that. Because this person has destructive tendencies. 
yeah, they don't have any priorities. Their priorities aren't straight. So you could really be dealing with an Aquarius because they have the same energy, bro. All right. Now, what's this abundance? <clears throat> the Six of Swords. The Page of Swords in reverse. Knight of Swords. Bottom of the deck is the Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, because their intentions is not good. That's why it's not working out. Um, the Page of Swords is in reverse, the Knight of Swords, and the Six of Swords. I feel like this person's intentions is what's the situation here, okay? Um, I feel like this abundance, I feel like all of this is yours. Whatever this, whatever this garden is, whatever this abundance is, is yours. And I feel like this person is like, yeah, you know, since we're together, since we're dealing with each other, like, you're good, like, I can use some of your stuff. And I feel this information that, that this person is disconnecting from, like, they're forgetting that it's your stuff. You work for this, not them. You know, it's like this person wants to jump on the bandwagon and you're just like, um, do you know how hard I've worked for all of this, bro? Like, you can take a step back. The unstoppable force with the Knight of Swords, this person is flying towards you because they're seeing this abundance. They're seeing all of this beautiful stuff. The, um useless delay yeah i feel the universe is gonna like i don't feel the universe is gonna do it but i feel like it's not gonna work out because i feel like you're gonna see how this person's coming like you're gonna be like oh you just want my you just want what i got that's that's what it's giving okay what is forgiveness here the strength card could be a leo The two of coins is in reverse. And then you have the seven of coins in reverse. Sheesh with the king of wands in reverse. I don't like the seven of coins in reverse in this deck because it's a uh, very harsh meaning okay um i feel like this person is coming towards you here because they feel like this person has forgave themselves and for whatever happened between you and them here um and they have reassessed their priorities here and they know that um i feel this person knows now what they did Eight of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah, so they're coming back towards you here on some... Uh, they didn't think this through, okay? They didn't think this through whatsoever here. Um, but they are going to come here back towards you. They're going to tell you that they feared change before. They were, they were refusing to release this negative energy with the devil. Okay, like this person now knows what caused the situation between you and them to not work out and they're going to come and tell you here. Okay, but with the Queen of Swords is in reverse, this person is not, you know, this person didn't think, didn't think this through. So they're going to come off very, this person's going to come off very like, well, I'm here. And, you know, it, it's like this person could be the one that's trying to ask for forgiveness for you. But it's like, it's giving like, I'm here, so you have to forgive me because I came. Like, I showed up. Like, you have to forgive me now. Or you have to allow me to come back in. I mean, it's good for you to forgive this person, Sagittarius, for your own sake, you know, but you don't have to allow this person to come back in. And, and I don't feel like you're not with the intimacy in reverse, you know. But again, like, this person is coming in very, um, very demanding, like... Oh, I came all the way back to apologize. So now you have to, now we have to come back together. Now we have to be cool again. Um, no, cross watcher. Sorry, but Sagittarius does not have to open the door again if they don't want to. What is this intimacy in reverse for what's at the bottom of the deck? You have the two of wands. Good for you. The world. Good for you. Good for you.
and the four of swords yep i feel like you're moving forward here i feel like you're closing this chapter out with this person and i feel like you're about to come into a very nice relaxing energy before the next level starts for you the death card yeah i thought there was definitely a necessary ending that happened with this person and i feel like you're not you're gonna be chilling look at him he's chilling sitting by the tree like you're just like i'm chilling i'm not worried about you i feel like you're coming into a space where you're gonna be really relaxed really at peace here okay um i do feel like for a while you were undecisive as to which way to go but it's like when this person comes in to forgive or not forgive to apologize or whatever it's like you're just like you're really gonna see this person through colors like that's how you apologize that's how you think you make something right I don't even want to, I don't even want to continue. I don't even want to collect $200 or press go. Or I mean, or pass go. Like it's given like you don't even want to, like you don't even want to go there again. You don't. And it's like you, with the death card here, you're just like, this has to remain closed. And there's a reason why this was closed. And I feel like it's going to stay that way, you know? But hopefully this person did detach themselves from whatever this negativity is, you know, just for them. You know, I always wish people the best no matter what. So always wish th this person the best no matter what, okay? All right, Sag, all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive. <laughs>